Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're going to be creating three florals that anyone can make in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. Today's video is brought to you by Envato Elements, the Netflix of graphic design. Envato Elements boosts your workflow by giving you unlimited access to state-of-the-art creative resources. Access thousands of Procreate assets, install beautiful brushes, gorgeous text effects, and over 50 million stock photos. Check out the link in the video description and take your creative work to the next level. As always, the color palette for this project is entirely free. Just tap on the link in the video description. You can download it and install it and then follow along. We're actually only using one brush for this entire project and it is my free mono weight brush. I'll also leave a link in the video description to that as well. So I'm going to create a brand new document that is 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels at 300 DPI and then we'll get started. Okay, I've got my canvas all set up. You can see I've got my color palette right here and I've got my brush selected right here. So the first florals we're going to create are buds, so flowers that have not bloomed yet. For this one, I'm going to start with my light pink color, so it's the fourth one in, so grab that, and I've got my mono weight brush. And this one I'm going to keep a little bit on the larger side because we're going to create those buds first, and then we'll draw connecting stems. So I'm at about 12%, so I'm just going to draw them kind of sporadically here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is create a new layer right above this. We can label this one buds. Create a brand new layer. I'm going to grab this darker green color right here. So it's the second one and then reduce the size of my brush down to about 8%. And then I'm just going to draw some stems to connect them all. Okay, and now I'm going to reduce the size of my brush down to about 3% and I'm just going to draw in where my stem connects to my flower buds. So now we're going to draw in some leaves. So I'm going to create a brand new layer and then I'm going to drag it beneath my stems layer. So let me label this one stems. Okay, tap on the top layer, drag it beneath the stems layer. This one we're going to label leaves and we're going to grab our lightest green color. So it's the very first one right here and draw in some leaves. Okay, it can be a little bit hard to see what's going on because all of my stems are in front. So now that I have the base of all my leaves drawn in, I'm just going to temporarily turn off the visibility of my stems. So just uncheck the visibility. And now I can fill all these in and draw in some details. So for each one of these leaves, I'm just going to drag my color in and fill them in. Okay, and we want to create a brand new layer. That way we can get a little bit sloppy with our lines and not have to worry about how everything lines up. So we're just going to create a brand new layer right above the leaves layer. Tap on it and choose clipping mask and this will be called leaf details. All right, so now we can draw past the leaf and it won't show up in the white area. So that's exactly what we want. So for these details, we're just going to draw a line through the leaf and then you're going to draw something kind of like a V shape. Okay, I've got all my leaf details drawn in now, and now I can turn my stems layer back on. Now we want to create a little bit more dimension in our buds, so we're going to establish a light source, and we're going to say that the light source is coming from the top right. So we're going to have the lightest color of our buds at the very top right of all of these ovals. So in order to create that impression of light, we're going to add in some shadows. So I'm going to create a new layer right above the buds layer and label this bud shadows. We're going to apply a clipping mask to this, so tap on the layer thumbnail, choose clipping mask. We're going to grab this darker color of pink right here, so it's the second to the last one, it's right next to the brown color. And what you're going to do is, so the light's coming from here for this direction, so we're going to create kind of an arc, and then we're going to fill that arc in, drop some color in. Same thing over here, so now the light source is going to be hitting the side part more than it's going to be hitting the very top of it. Okay, so we've got that shadow, and then the last thing we're going to do is just add some shadows to the leaves just to add a little bit more depth and finish everything off. So in order to do that, we're going to duplicate our stems layer. So just drag it to the left, choose duplicate, 
and this bottom stems layer, we're going to offset it. So grab your arrow tool, and then you're just going to drag it or tap it down into the left. And we're going to add a Gaussian blur to it. So tap on your magic wand tool, choose Gaussian blur, and then drag it to about 5%, I would say looks good. And we're going to change the blend mode just so it shows up as a shadow and a little bit darker to multiply. So just drag all the way up until you get to multiply. And then we need to apply it only to the leaves because you can see right here, we've got this weird funky shape right below our bud. So in order to fix that, what we're going to do is merge our leaf details with our leaves. So what you're going to do is just pinch these two layers together and that will merge them together and maintain that clipping mask. And now all we have to do with the stem shadow layer, let me rename this. All we have to do is tap on the layer thumbnail and choose clipping mask, and that will mask it right into the leaf shape. So you see we've got these nice little subtle shadows on the leaves, and when we zoom out, we get a really nice depth effect. Okay, so that is flower number one. Let's group all of our layers together just to keep it organized. So just drag all of your layers over to the right and then choose group, and we'll call this one flower buds. All right, we're going to create a new layer and we're moving on to flower number two. So flower number two is just a simple five petaled flower. There's a bunch of different five petaled flowers out there. You can also use the same method to create a six or seven or eight petaled flower, whatever you would like to do. Grab our lightest pink color, so it's the fourth one in. And then we also still have our mono weight brush selected and I'm at a size of about 6%. So what you wanna do is just draw an asterisk, a five lined star. So I'm going to draw it just like this. So it's basically an X with a line up at the top. And now we have our base or our skeleton of our flower. So I'm going to reduce the size just a little bit more. I'm gonna come down about 4%. And for my petals, you can also look at some reference photos of real petals, and that will also help give you an idea of the shape to make your petals. But essentially you're just going to come up and you're going to give the top of the petal a little bit of a zigzag shape and then bring it down. Okay, this one looks a little narrow, so I'm just going to make this a little bit larger. And now we can just color drop each one of these petals and fill it all up. Okay, that looks good. We're going to create a brand new layer. Let me label this one petals. So the center part of our petal, let me create a new layer, is called your anther. So I'm going to rename this anther. And we're going to grab our brown for this and you're just going to draw some dots in the middle. You can see I've got some ovals and kind of teardrop shapes as well as some circles. So vary up the shapes, vary up the sizes, and but keep it kind of tiny right in the middle and you'll be all set. So those are our anthers and now we're just going to put in some petal lines. So I'm going to create a new layer, label this one petal lines. I'm going to drag this beneath the anther layer and grab my white and reduce the size down to 2%. And I'm just going to draw in a few lines here. Okay, our flower is looking really good so far. So the next thing we wanna do is add in some supporting leaves. So we're going to draw a different leaf shape for this one just to change it up and give you more options for whatever flowers you would like to make in the future. So I'm going to create a brand new layer and call this leaf. Drag it below your petals layer. We're going to grab our darkest green, so the second one right here, and this petal shape is going to come up it's gonna notch in, come up again, notch in, and then come up towards the top and make a peak. And then the exact same thing on the other side. And I'm going to draw a smaller one right here. And then I'll put in one more on this side. So these are kind of a spikier leaf style. Okay, so I need to fill these up with color, so I'm going to turn off my petal layers visibility just so I can see where the ends are meeting, that way I know I can fill it in, because if you don't have a closed shape, then your color will bleed out and onto your background. So now that this is a closed shape, I can color drop this. Okay, let's turn our petals back on. All right, so we're going to add in some details again. So we're going to do the exact same thing that we did for our buds, is create a new layer right above it. This is going to be called leaf details. We're going to create a clipping mask. So tap on the layer thumbnail, choose clipping mask. We're going to grab our lightest green color and we're going to keep the size at 2%. And what we're going to do is draw a line all the way to the top. You're going to draw a line from the tip of each one of these spikes and you're going to curve it a little bit. So it's going to come down and then curve in just like that. 
And then to add a little bit of extra detail, off of this curved line, you're going to start kind of around the center point and then curve it up to where this notch happens. And then we can just add in some additional line details here. Okay, and then repeat the exact same thing for your other leaves. All right, and then just to finish this off, we wanna add a little bit of extra shadow. So we're going to repeat the exact same process that we did for our buds. So we're going to grab the petal shape right here. So tap on the layer thumbnail, choose select, create a brand new layer above it. We're going to fill this with black. So just double tap it wherever the black is, and that will give you true black. Tap on the new layers thumbnail and choose fill layer, and that will fill it with black. We're going to merge our leaf details and leaf layer together. So just pinch those together and then just drag this new petal shadow beneath the petals layer. And we're going to label this petal shadow and then apply a Gaussian blur. So tap on your magic wand, Gaussian blur, and then drag it up to about 4%. And then we're going to offset it again. Tap on your arrow tool and then just drag it down and over. And that looks good. We're going to change the blend mode to multiply. So tap on the little N, drag this up to multiply. And then we want to apply a clipping mask so it only appears within these leaves. So tap on the layer thumbnail and choose clipping mask. And there we go. All right, so we're on to our third flower. So let's group all these layers together and call this five petaled flower. Create a new layer right above it. And this one's going to be a very simplified version of a peony. So we're going to start with our petals first. So I'm going to grab the lightest pink color again. And this one's going to be an oval with a point at the very bottom of it. So it's going to be this shape. And you wanna make sure it's closed and then fill it in. You're going to create a new layer, drag it beneath the first petal. So we'll just call this one petal one. And this one we'll call petal two. And for this one, we're going to grab the second darkest pink color and we're going to draw two petals that are the exact same shapes. It's almost like a heart and then fill those in. And then we're going to create another layer and drag that beneath petal two. And this one's going to be called petal three. Okay, and we're going to grab the darkest pink color and we're just going to draw two petals. So they end up right in between each of these and then fill those in. Okay, so we've got the base of our flower and we wanna add a little bit of extra depth because we want whoever's looking at this to know that the inside of it is opening up. So in order to do that, we're going to turn off the visibility of petal one, create a new layer right above petal three, grab your brown color for this, and we're going to draw an oval that's kind of right in the middle right here. We can turn off the petal too if you wanna make sure that it's closed, fill it in. I'm going to rotate this a little bit. Now we can turn on our petal two and our petal one. And you wanna make sure that this new shape, it definitely doesn't have to be a perfectly oval shape. We just need a shape right here that we can blur and give reference that the flower is opening up. So we just need to, this to poke through just a little bit. So I'm actually going to toggle this down just slightly so I just see a little bit of the brown between both of these notches. And now we're going to apply a Gaussian blur to it. So tap on your magic wand, choose Gaussian blur, and now you're going to drag it. I think 7% looks pretty good. All right, so all we have to do is draw in a stem, add some leaves and finish this off. So we're going to start with our stem. So our stem's going to be on top of some of these petals. So it needs to be at the very, very top of our layers. So create a new layer, label this one stem, grab our dark green color. Let's go up to 8%, draw a stem. And now let's add in some details where the stem meets the petals. So for our leaves, we're going to create some additional stems that branch off the original stem. And now we want to draw some teardrop shaped leaves. So you're just going to start with your point, draw a teardrop and close it off. And you can vary up the sizes of these two to add a little bit more interest. Okay, and then to give the leaves just a little bit of dimension, we're going to create a new layer right above the stem layer. This one's going to be called Stem Highlights. And we're going to grab our light green color, create a clipping mask, and then split each one of these leaves in half. So we're just going to come up and then just shade a side. And I kind of alternate these. So 
so that completes our flower number three. So let me group all of my layers together and we're going to call this peony. And then if you wanna drop in a background color just to show off all of your florals, what I do is I tap on my background color, choose my darkest green, and then just drag the slider to the darker area where it's almost black, but it's still got a little green in it and that gives some nice contrast. So those are three flowers that anyone can draw in Procreate. Once again, links to the free color palette and the free brush that I used are right in the video description. So just tap there and you can have access to both of those. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more Procreate design and lettering tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every hyphen tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you try this out and post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.